Welcome to this video about how to find the formula of ionic compounds. The first example we are going to look at is aluminium oxide. To be able to find the formula of ionic compounds, you do need to know which ions make up the compound and which charge they have. So aluminium oxide is made from aluminium 3 plus and O2 minus. Now when I try to find the formula of ionic compounds I like to use what I call the crossover method. Um, for the crossover method you do have to write these two ions kind of in a line but with a bit of space in between. So we've got Al3 plus here, the plus in the middle and O2 minus on the other side then you need to write just the symbols Al and O a bit further down, leave quite a bit of space and leave a bit of space also in between the Al and the O for the number that will go there. Now we start by drawing an arrow from the charge of the aluminium ion, the 3, all the way down to the oxygen down here and then we draw a second arrow from the charge of the oxide ion, the 2, minus, all the way down here in this gap between the Al and the O and it's called crossover method because those two arrows basically cross over and these numbers are going to cross over. So what we're going to do now, it's really simple, we're going to take this number that we have up here and we're going to move it down here at the end of the arrow. So there's a 2 up there because it's O2 minus and we just put the 2 next to the Al for aluminium and then we take the 3 that we have up here for Al3 plus and we move it down here along the arrow next to the O. You do need to be careful here, those numbers down here need to be subscript. Okay, and now we have the formula for aluminium oxide that is Al2O3. We're going to look at another example. This time it is magnesium chloride. So again we're going to write the ions and the charges. So magnesium ion is Mg2+. Plus we're going to leave a bit of space, put a plus, and then the chloride ion is Cl minus. Again, we're going to leave some space and we're going to put Mg and Cl. We're going to leave a little bit of space again um, for the number later if we need it. And again, we're going to draw one arrow from the 2 plus up next to the, down next to the Cl and then we're going to draw a second arrow from the minus up at the Cl minus down to the Mg. Now there is no number um, next to the Cl, that means we're not going to put any down next to the Mg either. However, there's a 2 in Mg2+, plus, which is going to move down next to Cl and the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Now we're going to look at one more example. The next example is calcium phosphate. The calcium ion is Ca2+. Plus. Again we're going to leave a bit of space, put a plus, leave some space again and the phosphate ion is PO4-3-. We're going to leave space again and just put Ca, leave a bit of space and we're going to put PO4 together in brackets. It's quite important here that we remember if we have a polyatomic ion like PO4-3- that we need to put it in brackets. Now again we're going to draw the arrows, one from the 2 plus down next to the brackets of the PO4, one from the 3 minus down to the Ca. 
it is quite important here that you ignore the lowercase number. So P043 minus the lowercase 4, we are completely ignoring here. We don't need it. We only need the superscript 3. And when we move those numbers now, that gives us CA3 P042. And that is the formula for calcium phosphate. Now it is your turn. Have a go at finding the formula for lithium sulfide. I will give you the ions that are part of lithium sulfide. So you have Li plus and S2 minus. Now grab a piece of paper and have a go yourself using the crossover method finding the formula for lithium sulfide. Pause the video and have a go yourself. So again, we leave some space and just put Li and S next to each other, leaving some space in between. We're going to draw one arrow from the Li plus down next to the S, and we're going to draw one arrow from the two minus down next to the Li. The two from the S to minus moves down next to the Li. There is no number in Li plus, so we don't have to write any number next to the S. And the formula for lithium sulfide is Li to S. Now have a go at another example, aluminium sulfate. Again, I will give you the ions involved in this. So we have Al3 plus and SO4 2 minus. So again, pause the video, grab a piece of paper and have a go at this yourself. So again, we need to write the Al for aluminium, leave a little bit of space and write SO4 in brackets. Then we are going to draw the first arrow from the 3 of the 3 plus down next to the brackets of the SO4 and we are going to draw another arrow from the 2 minus down next to the AL. Remember to ignore the 4 here. Then the 2 from the 2 minus moves down next to the AL and the 3 from the 3 plus moves down next to the bracket and the formula for aluminium sulfate is Al2 brackets SO4 3.